What's going on everyone? It is Tater here and I'm bringing you guys round number one of season one's playoffs. As you guys saw in the last video at the end, we drew up the Pittsburgh Penguins, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin and all of them. But I'm turning injuries on. I had a couple people say that it would be better to do injuries on for playoffs and I somewhat agree. So there you go, injuries on. And what I want to do first, I haven't seen in any other GM mode commentaries, is a playoff prediction round by round. So that being said, let's go to the playoff tree. There it is. Okay, let's start with the east, or west, sorry. We got the first seed Minnesota against the eight seed Calgary Flames. I'm not going to say how many games, but I'm just going to say the winners. Uh, I'll go Minnesota for round for that first matchup. Second, we got the second place seed Chicago Blackhawks and the seventh seed LA Kings. I'm going to take the Blackhawks there. I have a feeling it's... Ah... Then the other next one is a San Jose Sharks at seed number three against the Detroit Red Wings at seed number six. I will have to take San Jose just because Detroit doesn't have much on defense in that. Jimmy Howard's not all that great, I don't think. He can't backstop a team to the cup or for a couple rounds. Then we have the Vancouver Canucks and Nashville. I really hate to do this, but I'm going to predict Vancouver. Not that I like Vancouver, I just hate predicting the top four seeds to win their series. I just don't really see why. The only others... Ugh, I can't talk. I don't see Nashville winning at all. Detroit would be a questionable one if they get a fluky game or two. LA, they're the only team that I really have a... Th think have a chance to win the round that are that I didn't choose and Calgary I don't know how the hell they're in the playoffs unless they made some roster moves and stuff like that if they have the roster that they have right now I'm surprised they're there but let's move on over to the east the first seed is Pittsburgh I'm not gonna do that because obviously I'm gonna take the Bruins because they're my team for this GM mode commentary so next up we have the Florida Panthers at second seed against the seventh seed Washington Capitals. Oh, that's a pretty solid matchup there though. Uh, two Southeast Division teams. Usually you'd predict Washington would be second seed and if Florida made the playoffs they'd be seventh or whatever. But it's the rules are reversed. So here I'm going to go and take the seventh seed Washington Capitals. Ovechkin's got to get them somewhere in the playoffs. Then we have the Buffalo Sabres and the New Jersey uh, wow New Jersey Devils my heart wants to tell me Devils because they're my team no, I'm going to go with it. New Jersey Devils I'm predicting the win. Then we got the Ottawa Senators and Montreal Canadiens I will take the Senators so we got Minnesota, Chicago, San Jose, Vancouver, Washington, New Jersey, Ottawa. Let's see how accurate I can be. And let's go ahead and check out our head-to-head -head matchup with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And I believe, yeah, I did ended up the season with this top line of Sagan, Krejci, and Lucic. But I really wanted it to be St. Louis. So that's my my bad and possibly why we didn't finish off so strong here everything else is good to go so yeah, we're gonna try and ride the hot goalie just uh, do playoff type uh, decisions let's go ahead and check the Pittsburgh Penguins so yeah, yeah we can't beat them on centers Crosby Malkin we just got to beat them with our depth depth and defense. So, their first line is James Neal, Crosby, and Chris Kunitz. Personally, Chris Kunitz would be a great second liner. He's 
I don't think he should be on the first line, but they don't have the depth there. So, uh, head-to-head, we've got the better uh, talent across the wing, the board, but I believe they have the better player, as in Crosby, by far. So I'm going to say that our first line is even. And then the second line here, we got Matt Cook, Evgeny Malkin, and Pascal Dupuis. Two third liners and a superstar. So... I honestly would have to say that our second line would beat that for its second line. But I would call it a tie just because of Malkin there. Malkin can steal the show. He's a one-man wrecking crew on that line, basically. So the third line, we got Kennedy, Sutter, and Tangredi. Tangredi's a fourth line, if not a fourth line player. Then Sutter and Kennedy's a third line players. I'll say we have the third line covered with our Marchand, Peverly, and Mark Savard lineup. But they do have the grind better third line in terms of grinding. And then they have Dustin Jeffrey, Smith, and Adams. I'm just going to go ahead and say we have the better fourth line there. Defense. Uh, Chris Tang and Paul Martin. It's great first pairing. Uh, I'm going to give them the nod, even though we have similar pairing, just John Blum isn't up to the level that Paul Martin is at. Then our second, their second pairing is Brooks Orpik and Matt Niskanen. Uh, I don't even remember who's on our second pairing right now. I know it's Oh, that's Ferenc and Ber- Seidenberg. Why was I going to say Bergenheim? So, overalls are the same. I'm going to give that one a tie, but we definitely have the third pairing in in our favor. So I just pause for a second. And then goalies. Ah, what am I doing? No, no, no. What the fuck am I doing? Seriously. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. They got a solid one-two punch in Mark andre Fleury and Thomas Falcoon. So, if anything, it's got to be our defense and goalie to get shut it down. But we could have a tough time with that because they have Crosby Malkin. Alright, boys. Let's get game one under our belt. Let's go. We need a good first period. Let's go. Alright, a tie. You can take that. Let's go. Second period. Come on, power play. Nope. All right. Oh, James Neal. James Neal gets it done. Come on, boys. We're only down one. We're only down one. We need a quick one. We can do it. Oh, no. We get shut out. All right. So, yeah. Whoa, they had Vokun and Flurry in that? What the hell? A combined shutout. Mark Andre Fleury is considered day to day. Here we go. So luckily we don't have injuries. Let's see if they have any other injuries. No, just Fleury. But it's not too big of a deal for them. They have. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to intervene. They have Thomas Vokun to step in there. Let's go here. Oh, fuck, they're off on the start again. There we go. David Krejci! Let's go first period, tie, alright. Uh, let's go, second period, we need a quick one here. Nope. Let's go, second period. Holy shit. Evgeny Malkin and Brandon Sutter. Why do we have Turco in net? What the hell? Alright, let's go. Come on guys, we need a... There you go, Rich Peverly. Still need a quick one to get in this game. Need a quick one. Come on. Oh, damn it. We're getting shots. We just can't beak fucking flurry. Beak, I mean beat. Let's go. They have Dupuis day to day. Let's check out our lines just to make sure. I do have Tuca in it. Okay, I do have Tuca. Why did they put fucking Marty Turco in? Alright, 
first game on home ice. We got to get this win. We got to get off to a good start. Uh, let's go. Come on, boys. There you go, Chris Kelly. Come on now. Let's keep it up. Got. Th there we go, David Krejci. Let's go. First period. We're up to nothing. That's what we need from our team in Boston. That's what we need here. Come on, penalty kill. It's sweet. Second period. Oh, how Gill. We pick him up for his defense, and he says, no, I can play offense. Oh, Pascal Dupuis on Tuca. Okay, we're up 3-1. No, I, why do I always want to hit A? Let's go. Oh, I thought those were goals there. I was like, no way they're lighting us up there. And we win 5-2. All right, they answer back. Way to go, Bruins. Let's go. Put a good show on for your home ice fans. Let's go. Game number four. At least we don't have injuries. We got to get this quick. Got to get it in six games at least now to avoid some injuries here. Let's go. Six goals. All right. Let's keep it on. Oh, we had a 5-on-3. 5-on-4. Five five Come on. Frick. I always do that. Alright. Second period. Yeah, Milan Lucic. So, third period. Come on. We just need an additional goal to put that statement on. Johnny Boychuk. There we go. And they got Thomas Vokun in. Oh, and then... Kennedy answers back on Tuka Rask. Let's go. We got fifth. There we go. Patrice Bergeron. Empty net. We'll take it. Series is tied. Surely is a series of home ice advantage here. But we got to steal these games in Pittsburgh to win, boys. We got to steal this game and win at home again. No injuries. All right. Let's go. Pittsburgh's better team in the regular season, standings-wise, but let's take this game. First period. All right, Brad Marchand. Good to see you help in, or chip in here, boy. Let's go second period. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, Sutter. All right. Let's go third period. We need a big third period, boys. Oh, that's not the big third period I want. Answer back right now. No, can we do it? No, oh, we got five minutes. Come on, we need a goal. Oh, damn. So it's winner, we're out here. Can't lose. Pittsburgh center, Sidney Crosby, day to day. Oh, all right, scouting, come on. Why do you got to be interrupting me like this, boys? Come on, let's... Uh, I was in the WHL. Let's go OHL, maybe? Or not United States. QMJHL. Uh, haha. Let's go Q. Scout Nathan McKinnon, even though we're not gonna get a top overall pick. Buffalo. Damn it, Buffalo eliminated New Jersey. And Detroit eliminated San Jose. Fuck, I'm over 2 right now here. Alright, let's go. Come on, we need this huge game win. Game number six. Rich Peverlate, sweet. Quick start to the game. Let's go. First period. Alright, we still got that one nothing lead. Let's keep it up. Don't allow one quick. Let's get one quick. Alright, second period. Malkin. God damn. When I say that Mal Malkin can take the load for his team or his line mates and make it happen. All right, third period. This is win or die. We gotta get this. Patrice Bergeron. Here we go, boy. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Get another one. Oh, Patrice Bergeron again. He's clutch. Seasons on the line. He pulls two goals. Oh, Rich Peverly empty net. And Chris Kelly on Mark Andre Fleury. A big win. Forces game seven. Patrice Bergeron, two goals. Let's quickly check. Peverly Savard, Malkin Cook Reese, Bergeron Chara Horton, Bergeron Savard Lucic, Peverly Bouchard, uh, Marchand Savard, Kelly Caron and Paye. Let's go. Did we have 
and your friends will be injured for a week or so. God damn. Let's quickly check up our line, see if they did anything for us. Ugh, Mike Mattel? No, no, no. Hal Gill. There we go. Let's go ahead. Sim. Game 7 here, boys. This is where legends can be made. Game 7, first round. Let's go. First period. Milan Lucic. Been hiding all series, and there you go. Ah, but Brooks Orpic. God damn, Brooks Orpic. Let's go, second period. Come on, boys. Patrice Bergeron. Clutch, baby, clutch. All right, let's get one more and hold down the fort. Get one in there. Get one. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's hold. Oh, no, Crosby. God damn it, Crosby. Okay, we got six minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Overtime. Give seven overtime. Who's going to be the hero? Come on. I'm calling out Mar uh, David Krejci. I'm calling out Krejci. Come on. Overtime number two. Milan Lucic. Lucic scores the overtime goal and double OT. Game number seven. Oh, my goodness. Let's see who we got for round number two. Holy shit. We have the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, but look at that. We got Hal Gill injured for three weeks and Andrew Ference for five days. Oh, fuck. Look at that third pairing right now. Aaron Johnson and Mike Mattel. Jesus, Murphy. This is not looking good for injury wise. Let's quickly go check out our team step stats, excuse me. Got the hiccups. Mm. And now I yawned. Wow. Uh, player stats playoffs. Let's go check out our team. So seven game series we have Bergeron leading the way with four goals, five assists. Add a B boy. And then Milan Lucic with a huge two goal performance in game seven. He's got five points. So Bergeron's are only four at over point per game. And then we have two at five. Okay, we don't need to score. We just need our defense to hold the fort. But in this series, I have a feeling we're going to have to score a lot. John Blum leads the D men in points with three. And then Hal Gill, Seidenberg, and Boychuk at 2. Then Ference and Chara at 1. Come on, Chara. You're supposed to be leading this defense corps. Calling you out for the next series. Play like you beast in the defense event. Okay, you do have a plus 7. But still, we need you to get some points. You've got 15 shots. Most of any demon. And you got 1 assist. What the hell are you doing out there? You're supposed to use your freaking... 108, 106 miles per hour shot. Scare these goalies. Come on, man. Alright. So, I'm not going to get too much done left in this round. This uh, video. Let's just simulate up until the day. See if we can get Andrew Ferentz back. Nope. Alright. Let's quickly check the playoff tree. Here we go. Step central. Playoff tree. And we got... Okay, so I was... Two for two, or two for four in the West, and I was one for, th or two for three in the East. I'd say four for four, but we all know I'm going to pick my team. So we got final four, Minnesota, Detroit. Team that got Parise and Suter, and a team that desperately needed to get Suter to replace Lidstrom. Then we got Chicago, Blackhawks, and Nashville. How is Nashville still out here, they only have Weber and Pekka Rene. Let's go. We got Buffalo, Ryan freaking Miller. This will be a tough series. This will be a series for us where it's one goal gets the game. Then Ottawa, Washington. Alright, so I'm going to go predict Minnesota, Chicago, and Washington. Alright.
Hope you guys enjoyed the playoffs so far. Try to keep it entertaining as the playoffs are always jam-packed with entertainment. And on that note, I'll see you guys later. Peace.